क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सिक्स वी हैव टू फाइंड द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ दिस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विद दिस कंडीशंस ऑक्सिलियरी इक्वेशन इज एम स्क्वेयर प्लस टू एम प्लस वन इक्वल जीरो सो एम इक्वल माइनस वन एंड माइनस वन बोथ द रूट्स आर सेम इक्वल एंड रियल देर फोर द कंप्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन इज सी वन प्लस सी टू टी ई पावर माइनस टी पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल इज जीरो because the right hand side of the differential equation is zero therefore the general solution y is ca plus bi that is c1 plus c2 t e power minus t only now when t is zero y is 1 so this term is zero and e power zero is 1 so c1 is 1 now let us find the derivative of y then y prime is first we will differentiate c1 e power minus t so we have minus c1 e power minus t then we will differentiate c2 t e power minus t so plus c2 e power minus t then minus c2 t e power minus t so when t is 0 y prime is 1 so the first term becomes minus c1 and the second term becomes plus c2 and the third term is 0 so we will have Minus c1 plus c2 equal 1. So c2 is 2. Now the general solution becomes y equals to 1 plus twice t e power minus t. So option B is the correct answer. Question number thirty-seven. A vector p is given by this. We have to find solenoidal and irrotational for p. If p is solenoidal, then grad dot p is zero. If p is irrotational, then grad Cross P is zero. Now we have to check which condition is satisfied for this vector function. So first, let us find for grad dot P. Grad dot P means del del x of x cube y plus del del y of minus x square y square plus del del z of minus x square y z so here this is 3 x square y and this one is minus 2 x square y and this one is Minus x square y, so this is zero. Therefore, P is solenoidal. Now let us check for grad cross P. Now let us check for e rotational. For e rotational, we know. A x, A y, A z, del del x, del del y, del del z, 
x cube y minus x square y square minus x square y z which is not equals to 0. Therefore, P is not irrotational. Option A is the correct answer. Next question. Which one of the following graphs describes the function fx equals to e power minus x, x square plus x plus 1? So, here the function is the product of two distinct functions. One is exponential, other is quadratic function. Dear gate aspirants, I would like to show you these functions separately and jointly in Mathematica such that you can understand that how it looks like and you can recognize at the time of exam if it comes. Actually in the exam time you will not get any software to check it how it looks like but you can learn and you can understand that what is the nature of the functions y1 equal exp minus x shift enter okay y2 equal x square plus x plus y equal y1 multiplied by y2 x equals to 0 At x equals to 0, value of y is 1. x equals to 0 0.5. At x equals to 0 0.5, value of y is 1.06103. x equals to 1. At x equals to 1, value of y is 3 by e. Now let us find 3 by e in numericals. Let us find 3 by e in decimal numbers. Capital N, Y. So this is 1.10364. At x equals to 1, the functional value is 1.10364. x equals to 1.5 functional value is 1.05987 so we have noticed that at x equals to 0 functional value is 1 at x equals to 0 0.5 functional value is 1.06143 so it is increasing at x equals to 1.5, functional value is 1.05, so it is decreasing. Now let us plot the functions. So this is the exponential function graph. This is the quadratic functions graph.
so here you see the mistake the mistake was that here the here the p is in small letter so it did not keep the graph and when we have written capital p so we got the graph this is the graph what is asked in the question the product of exponential and quadratic function here you see the function is increasing from 0 to 1 then after 1 it is started to decrease and it is decreasing rapidly because the quadratic function is multiplied here observing this function separately you cannot understand exponential function was there so exponential function is in decreasing order quadratic function it is increasing for positive x exponential function is decreasing for positive x the product function is product of these two functions is decreasing after 1. So by the mathematica you can understand that which graph is suitable for this function what is given in the question but in the exam you will not have such kind of software to check. So what you have to do the method you apply finding the maxima, minima, uh, the stationary points then and the maxima, minima and then uh, decreasing and increasing etc. You can understand which graph is suitable for the given function. So observing the graphs in the Mathematica, it is obvious that option b is the correct answer but in the exam time you will not get the software to check it so how will you do in the exam time let us see here fx equals to e power minus x x square plus x plus 1 so you can find at f0 at f0 it is 1 at f1 it is 3 by e now f prime x is e power minus x 2x plus 1 plus minus e power minus x x square plus x plus 1 2x e power minus x and minus x e power minus x so you will have e power minus x in the bracket minus x square plus x plus 1 and minus 1 will be cancelled a prime x equals to 0 will give you the stationary points as e power minus x is not equals to 0 therefore x into x minus 1 is 0 it will give you so the stationary points are 0 and 1 now we will find maxima and minima a prime x is e power minus x minus x square plus x f double prime x is e power minus x minus 2x plus 1 plus minus e power minus x 
minus x square plus x. So at x equals to 0, f double prime x is, so this term is 0 and e power minus 0 that is 1. So this term is 1 plus this term is minus 1 and uh, these two terms are 0. So this is 1 which is greater than 0. Therefore, x equals to 0 is the minima. Now at x equals to 1, this is minus 2 plus 1, so minus 1, minus 1, e power minus 1, 1 by e, minus 1 by e, and here minus 1 plus 1, so 0, this term 0. Therefore, f double prime x at 1 is minus 1 by e, which is less than 0. Therefore, x equals to 1 is the maxima. If we look at option B, we observe that x equals to 1 is the maxima. So, option B is the correct answer. Next question, the maximum area of a rectangle whose vertices lie on the ellipse x square plus 4y square equals to 1. Let us draw the ellipse. Rectangle inscribed in the ellipse. Let us take two x and two y as length and date respectively. Now area of the rectangle equal 4xy. Consider f as area square that is 16x square y square. 16x square y square is 1 minus x square by 4 from the equation. Now this is 4 x square 1 minus x square. f is 4 x square 1 minus x square. f prime is 8x 1 minus x square plus 4x square minus 2x. So this is 8x minus 8x cube minus 8x cube. So this is 8x minus 60x cube. f prime equals to 0 will give us the stationary points. So, 
x common 1 minus 2 x square is 0. So either x equals to 0 or x equals to plus minus 1 by root 2. As because x is related with the side's length, so it cannot be 0 and negative. So at x equals to 1 by root 2, we have to find the nature of f double prime x. That is 8 minus 48 x square f double prime at x equals to 1 by root 2 is negative so which is less than 0 therefore x equals to 1 by root 2 is maximum f will have the maximum value at x equals to 1 by root 2. So area is, maximum area is 4 into 1 by root 2 and square root of 1 minus 1 by root 2 square by 4. So this is 4 by root 2 and this is half 1 minus half is 1 by root 2 square root of 4 is 2. 2 to 4 and 2 4 so this is 1. Next question, a source emits bit 0 with probability 1 third and bit 1 with probability 2 third. The emitted bits are communicated to the receiver. The receiver decides for either 0 or 1 based on the received value R. The conditional density functions of R are given the minimum decision error probability we have to find an error is said to occur if the receiver decides one for a transmitted bit zero or receiver decides zero for a transmitted bit one now given that Decision error probability that receiver decides 0 for a transmitted bit 1 is 1 by 6. Again, the decision error probability that receiver decides 1 for a transmitted bit 0 is 1 by 4. So out of 1 by 6 and 1 by 4, the minimum is 1 by 6. Therefore, the minimum decision error probability is 1 by 6. Thanks for watching. Hope it has helped you. Subscribe and share. Subscribe for the next video. We will discuss more in the next video.